so we're going to try to represent one of the possibilities for what's going to be uh, planned for the lobby art, um, and this is one. Um, basically, it is a depiction of what happens from the beginning of a school year to the end of a school year, from the beginning of freshman year to graduation, in the context of our community and our natural surroundings. And what I'm proposing is a quilt that would basically take up that expanse that we're talking about in the front. Um, this is not an actual rendition and it is not to scale, but it's meant to give an idea of the inspiration. Um, it would be a watercolor quilt. And what I mean by that is um, a quilt that is, a, that is shaded in color. This is an example of shading from dark to light. This shading would be from the, the seasons. It would start with the summer colors that we come into school with and then shading into the fall and then into the winter and then again coming full circle with the spring. I don't have that represented here. So this is an example of a watercolor quilt. The shading is achieved by little increments, kind of like uh, pixels, only with fabric. And here are some other examples. Um, it would de be dependent on the fabrics. And here are some other examples of how that could be achieved. Sometimes you even make patterns out of it. But this would just be a background. All right, so moving from that, in addition to um, the fabric watercolor of the seasons, every now and then one of the blocks would be removed or, or not included and in, in its place would be some icon representing an activity, a club, an academic department or something from the community that, and if it's a season specific we would try to put it in the season in the colors that it pertained to, but if it were something like English or social studies or chemistry, it could happen any time of the year. Um, so I've included these, these names at the bottom represent things that could be represented as a patch in the quilt. Um, you know, the Vermont State Fair, apples and ciders, field hockey, cross country. Um, maybe I don't need to say them all if you can pan through them. And there could be some kind of an icon, um, a fleur de lis for the French department, maybe a soccer ball, um, a beaker for chemistry, um, a mathematical equation, um, perhaps some musical notes. Um, but we have sports, we have the arts, we have academics, we have clubs, um, also the context that we all live in as well, things from the community. Um, but then we even have a snow day because generally that's part of our calendar as well. Uh, yes, plan graduation, the prom. And so these things would be peppered in the year uh, as we pass through. It would be framed at the top by a landscape. I've just thrown this up as an example, but that would follow the seasons as well. Um, what else can I tell you? We can embed artifacts. It's basically meant to be multimedia because it's a fabric base, it's textured, but you can put things in like buttons and ribbons and artifacts. We could put uh, a piece of a lacrosse net and incorporate things. In this, in this example that I have here, I've got photographs embedded and also ribbons from races. So we could be very creative about what went in it. Um, the scale um, can be as large or as small as we want it to be. And my feeling is to strike a happy balance between being able to see it and what the representations of things are from standing on the floor. But interestingly enough that you wouldn't be able to exhaust it all in one viewing. So it'd be something that you could always go and find something new from. Um, and I think that's part of the richness of having all of these things incorporated. And it also shows a balance of what the school is about. Uh, we could also ask for, for samples from people who are instrumental at the school. Faculty could, could give us pieces of fabric. Um, it can be installed in 
in pieces and it would be quilted. It could be removable for uh, cleaning or, or, or renovations. And there are some architectural pieces. There's a big lamp in the middle and we could work around that just like you would with a, like a, a tree skirt at the holidays. I think down in the, the corner there's also some kind of sensor on that wall. Um, so it, it depicts the community, the calendar, it's kind of a perpetual thing. This is a mock-up of the inspiration. Um, here are some other inspiration um, pages in terms of how you can depict landscapes in fabric. Um, and the, the mountains would probably be feathered in because we would want to go from the summer greens into the fall colors into the whites and cold colors of the winter. Um, might even be able to, if we wanted a, a distinct division, um, use a device like this where we have one season on the other side. Not with this background though, because we would still want to have the patchwork background that we could drop these icons into. Um, another I idea about landscape inspirations. So that's one idea. We've got some cool things to think about for the lobby and this is just one of them.